gonna go on today. I'm gonna start first of all, guys, telling you incredible to see you. Uh, remember that actually what we have been studying lately uh, on this course is something very advanced. Maybe many people are gonna tell you, wow, why are you studying these kind of things? And uh, simply one uh, a, a good answer that I imagine you can give is just because I just wanna improve 100% my English. Okay, it's not only important that you speak English because it's how you can speak it actually, how good, okay, you can speak it, pronunciation, fluency, grammar, rules, okay, advance, that kind of things. That is why, guys, bear that in mind all the time, you know, I love you. And this is why all the time I'm thinking, what can I do? Uh, today, maybe we are going to uh, have some uh ideas and we are gonna practice a little bit i prepared today i spent four hours preparing for you an incredible presentation uh to move uh um, next okay our second episode about uh preposition related with some verse. okay guys so i'm gonna start immediately uh with this because last class actually uh we start talking uh, about some of them okay what what i mean i'm talking about uh uh, verse plus preposition. So, guys, I'm gonna uh, move it on. I'm gonna uh, show you right now. Okay, uh, this uh, that I tell you is very relevant. And what is that? Okay, is to know exactly what kind of preposition we are gonna work with. Uh, last class, we um, just uh, asked a couple of ones because we didn't have enough time. I'm gonna um, just write it down a little bit bigger. So, maybe uh, this way you're gonna see it much better. Okay, maybe this size is gonna be uh, good enough for all of you. All right, so we are gonna start um, uh, since number uh, four. Uh, for this, I'm gonna need some of you as volunteers, guys. That is why I'm gonna I need you very attentive. I'm gonna use the list that is just right here. Remember that the attendance list is being called several times throughout uh, this class, okay? So the idea is all time and don't, uh, um, Login so late, you know how important is every minute. Anyhow, the class is gonna be recorded so that you can watch it uh, as many times as you want it. Okay, my advice for all of you is do it at least once. Okay, because you know, guys, sometimes once in life is not enough. And remember, this is what happened to many athletes. Okay, all around the world, especially when you practice any um, sporty discipline. Okay, you're gonna need practice. Okay, because once is never enough. Once is never enough. Okay, maybe you're gonna be lucky uh, once in a while, okay? But practice is something that is gonna make you be in the next step, okay? Right, guys? So let's get started. I'm gonna uh, use, okay, the list that I have uh, uh, just right here, okay? You can give me a hand, guys. Right now, we have connected 10 students, which uh, means that we are uh, most of the group. Okay, so I'm gonna start. What is the idea, guys? Number four, the statement that you can see on the board, I don't know. If I'm uh, sharing my whole screen, because Alidio sometimes is crazy, all right? He sometimes seems uh, to pretend that you're doing something. So when that happens, let me know, teacher Alidio, please. What do you pretend we can see? You haven't shared anything. And I'm going to do it immediately at once, believe me, okay, right away. All right, so number four is we are going to decide when maybe we are going to have a preposition related to the verb or not and be ready because we can have a conversation a, a little chat guys if you want to turn on your cam you can do it every class i'm gonna be here on the screen so that you can uh look at me okay uh it would be great if maybe you have and you can turn on yours that is up to you if you want to do it you know but something that it just would be great is if you participate turn it on uh, if you participate, at least if you can or you're very shy and you want other people see you, at least use the microphone, okay? The chat is going to be the last resource that you're going to use, actually, um, uh, if you need to uh, participate. Uh, is because either uh, you have a problem with your cam or because your mic, I mean your microphone, is busted is broken you know okay so many bad things happening to you at the same time anyhow is weird guys but i'm just gonna think that you're living this life and you know 
everything can happen to you at any moment. Uh, something that, believe me, guys, I find very weird, right? You know, I'm not going to start an argument with you. All right. So number four, I'm going to need a volunteer. Okay. So what about, guys, when I say volunteers, let's see if maybe one of you want to tell me. If you have to choose, guys, I mean to pick out between option A and B in number four, okay, which one do you think is the right one? Look at them. Okay, With, what do you uh, think is the uh, right one? Which, A or V? Okay, so who want to tell me right now, guys? Let's see. Teacher, me. Everybody. Yeah, man, go ahead. The, the, the correct one is the B. So read it. Uh, okay. I need somebody to explain to me what, what I have to do. Yeah, so I need somebody to explain to me uh, what I have to do. Uh, Kevin, I've got a question, buddy. Uh, Sometimes, uh, have you need somebody who explains to you something that maybe you don't know? Yeah, many times. Many times that happened. Yeah, you many times. For example, do you remember at least once in the past? Well, there was a time when when a classmate. Uh, help me with my homework of <laughs> math, with my math, math homework. Math homework, yeah, that happened a lot of time, okay? So sometimes, at least, thank God, there is another smart boy in our class that is paying attention when we don't, you know, and maybe in the end, at least he can give us a hand with that, okay? Excellent, Kevin, that's right. And the option that you choose, obviously, is the right one. So explain to Okay, you say, explain to me, I can understand, teacher, and I'll do it gladly. Okay, very good, Kevin, excellent. Okay, let's move, guys, to the next one, which is a number uh, a five. Okay, so the idea is, as I mentioned, guys, you're free to tell me, teacher, I'm ready. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to go over number five. I would like you to pay careful attention. And we are going to explain, as I we did it last class, because, guys, look, pay, listen, attention. Is because B. many times a verb be who said be who said be show yourself me me ah hello excellent especially because if you uh, uh didn't attend classes and right now you've got the information that is excellent for me okay so hero can you read us okay your option please um, okay uh, they didn't understand the system, so I explained it. I uh, know, hey, 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 sorry. Sorry, ah, sorry. I love it, guy, because I, I was about to tell you, are you sure, Hero? Okay, Hero, go ahead, please. They, they didn't, didn't understand, understand the, system, the system, system, so I explained it to them. That's right. It's actually what we did uh, uh, in the example given before, the one that Kevin did. Okay, it's actually exactly like that, explained to okay or explain yourself when you don't say to is because it's not necessary for example someone say i say guys i've got the solution to the problem and you say yes explain yourself okay or you say please explain yourself to everybody here okay if you're gonna I say who is going to listen that information. Okay, excellent, Hero. Okay, excellent. Very good. So I'm going to move it on, guys. Number six, okay? We are choosing uh, which one uh, is the one that maybe we decide is right, okay? And then we are going to discuss maybe some other things related uh, to the verb. Excellent. So I'm going to need different volunteer, guys. Remember, right now we are 11 students connected. Me, okay. again, yeah. I want to participate. No, 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 no. You said I didn't yeah. assist today. Last you, you already class, so. did it. You already did it. Let's let somebody else to participate in the meantime, okay? So I'm mm. going to go. Laura, Laura, how are you? Fine, teacher. Excellent, okay, to listen to you. Okay, Laura, as you know, okay, this is something that is going to keep us busy in the next coming days and is to practice, okay, these are prepositional verbs, okay, maybe uh, we are going to practice by some examples, uh, but right now we are trying to choose, okay, a one that we consider is right. In, in the next one, which is number six, uh, which one do you think, uh, Laura, is uh, the right one? A, 
A or B? A. Uh, can you please read us? Can you please read the statement, Laura? Excellent. Because that is right. But I like to sit on the beach and listen to the sound of the sea. That's right, on the beach. <laughs> because, hey, can you imagine, Laura, if maybe you make an slur, a bad pronunciation, exactly with that statement? <laughs> oh, on the God. beach. Jerónimo, I never ask for your participation. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, believe me when I tell you that Laura is as smart as to understand what I mean. Thank you, Jerónimo. All right. Excellent. Laura, you're completely right. Okay. Very good. Guy, I need somebody else. Okay. Uh, right now, I've got Hero Kevin. And finally, or if this last one uh, with Laura, let's see if somebody else there uh, to participate, okay? Oh my gosh, Juan Pablo Jaramillo was connected late. Something had to happen to him because all time he's very punctual, okay? So I'm not gonna give him a hard time. I'm gonna just leave him to connect it and maybe we are gonna ask for his participation in a while. All right, guys, okay, excellent, very good. Okay, what about number seven? I need different volunteer. I'm not gonna let you participate if you already did it. I need at, at least six or seven different people to let you participate again. Okay, so I'm gonna need somebody else, okay? Who is our volunteer now, guys, okay, for this coming one, which obviously is number seven. Which do you think is the right one? Number seven. Tell me, guys. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting. I'm going to try to be patient, Alirio. Uh, anyhow, that is hard. Okay, Alirio, patient? Oh, please. That, that is not going to happen. You know, but I'm just going to try uh, <clears throat> just to do it. Okay, guys. Anyone? Hmm. Nobody. Okay. I'm just gonna ask you. All right. I'm gonna ask you. No, no, no. Nobody deserves this I yet. Okay. Juan, Juan Esteban. Juan Esteban, buddy, how are you? Uh, how's everything going, man? Just let's wait. Uh, okay. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. Very good. Juan Esteban, how are you? Uh, fine. Tell us something, uh, Juan Esteban. If you have to choose between the option in number seven, which one do you think is for you the right one? Uh, B. Is B. Can you please read up the statement? I asked them to describe to me exactly what happened. And that is completely right. Okay, remember, describe to is something that we have been doing. Guys, I'm just picking out because remember, this, this is something that is already uploaded to our Google Classroom site. And there is a homework that I imagine some of you at least started doing. Because last class I told you guys I'm going to upload it. And I finally did it. Okay, it's just right there. So you can start doing the homework um, right now. If you are one of those early guys, I imagine you already started doing that. Okay, so maybe this is not good. Or, uh, sorry, uh, 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 nudes, at least new for you. Okay, you already know that teacher, obviously, yeah, I already did it. Okay, if you are one of those, congrats. If you are one of those who already did the homework and send it to me, Hey, you are exactly on target. Let me tell you. All right, excellent. I'm gonna move it on with next uh, because I'm not gonna use the whole presentation, guys. You know, so I'm gonna use at least uh, one uh, or some of them. Okay, the rest is up to you. Okay, I can do it all. Okay, right. I'm gonna um, uh, show you next one. I'm gonna make it a little bit um, smaller. Uh, that way you can see that I think this size will be enough. I'm going to choose exactly the same, guys. Okay, I'm going to use different volunteers as well, so be ready. Remember, in this level, I mean advanced, what we need actually is uh, practice. 
what do I make, uh, make uh, sure that you understand? Why? Because if I make you a question and we are talking about something and you are connected, it's going to be exactly that is happening right away. If I make a question to Juan Pablo, Juan Pablo is in class, obviously Juan Pablo is going to give us okay, a good answer because he is just connected with the idea. That way we are going to keep that kind of fluency that I think is important for this English level, okay? Uh, so that is why be ready to answer thank you uh, to the people. Thank you to Juan Esteban, okay? He did it very good and quickly, okay? And that is actually what I need. Laura, excellent. Hero, good. Uh, uh, exactly with Kevin. Exactly, exactly in the same way, okay? So ready to answer. And that is exactly what we need, okay? So the coming exercise, guys, is to complete or is associate. Okay, now uh, the preposition is be given to us, okay, written down on the sentence. And the only thing that we are going to do is to choose to pick out the one that we consider uh, fulfill uh, the statement's idea. All right, so I'm going to read the first one. Remember, every time that you choose a verb, is a verb that you're not going to choose again. If maybe the verb is repeated, I mean twice, okay, so you're going to do it again. Um, otherwise, avoid that as much as possible. All right, guys, look, sometimes talking about fashion, okay, people is going to, some people are, sorry, look at, uh, look at you and he's going to say, wow, you look weird. What's going on? Oh, I just had a haircut. And you're going to say, wow, you, you look weird. Yes, yeah, some people told me the same. I look stupid with this haircut this morning when i went to school everybody man in my classroom laughed at me okay so it's exactly the same way or if your mother maybe decide the style your 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 hairstyle you know and after she decide your your you know hairstyle you're gonna look at yourself in the mirror and say what the hell mom I'm not going to go out this way on the street. Everybody will laugh at me. Okay, so laugh at. You're not going to say laugh me because an American is going to look you like, what? Laugh me? This is a Colombian guy, okay? <laughs> you know? So it's laugh at. You say, don't laugh at me. I'm going to tell you something very serious, but don't laugh at me because you're going to make me feel terrible, okay? So I need to tell to you, but please don't laugh at me okay do you promise that because if you promise that i will tell you all right so don't forget that is laugh at the second example here on this statement is uh for example when you are in classes uh maybe as kevin mentioned uh in his example not long ago uh maybe he thinking about something else or maybe he got late to the class Okay, or maybe he couldn't attend the class in time or just in time to be connected with the idea from the beginning of the class. And maybe when, when he arrived and he was sit down, okay, he said, oh my gosh, what is the teacher talking about? What is the topic all about? I don't understand. What are you doing, guys? Okay, so maybe uh, Kevin or you, you are going to uh, use the person just next to you and say, hey, what are you doing? You know, I don't understand this. I don't understand the class. I don't understand what the teacher is talking about. Can you please explain, explain it to me? Explain it. I mean, can you explain uh, what the teacher is talking about to me? Can you explain it to me, please? Okay, and maybe say, yeah, don't worry. It's about the algebra problems, okay, that uh, the teacher start talking the other day. And you say, oh, my gosh, let me, I'm going to open the notebook. Yes, you're right. I remember that now, okay? So listen that, okay, and pay attention. Guys, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm, I'm going to ask to Juan Pablo Jaramillo. Juan Pablo, how are you, buddy? How's everything going, man? Hi. I'm um, okay. Ah, that's good. Healthy? Yes, always. Yeah, all right, very good, man. Okay, doing exercise? Um, mm. Yes, yes, ah, of course. Right. Yeah, please, that is very important. Everybody at your age, you need to work out every single day. If you're very lazy, uh, you know, um, one the other day. Okay, maybe. Okay, but hopefully every single day. All right, excellent. Very good. Uh, Juan, 
Uh, look at number three. Now you can see all the options given to you in the box. If you have to use one bird, which one would you decide is the good one for number three? And please, if possible, can you read the statement to all of us? Go ahead, buddy. Um, okay. We live in the same building, but we, we've we never speak to one another. Speak to. We never speak to one another. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we live in the same building, but we never talk, talk to one another. Mm, yeah, that is possible. I'm going to just make a question, guys. Somebody else or anybody else got maybe a different one? I mean, maybe do you have a different bird? Somebody else in the class? What is your opinion, guys? Do you think it's exactly the one that Juan Pablo just mentioned? Or maybe do you have a different one that you say, teacher, excuse me, it's not possible to say this, and maybe, guys, if you want, I can explain it to you. I don't know. If I were you, I could be right now making that question. Believe me. Somebody else maybe has got a different one? Yes or no, guys? Mm, because it, there is, believe me that there's another possible perfect verb for that uh, statement. Um, maybe, do you feel a little bit there to tell it to me? Which one maybe is another very, very, very possible verb for that statement? Tell me, guys. Speak. Okay. Speak. Reply. Reply. Reply? Reply. Kevin, reply? Really? Sorry. I don't know. Reply sounds weird, Kevin, for that statement. Maybe as uh, the other uh, classmate mentioned, speak, speak is uh, the one that uh, uh, Juan Pablo is giving to me. Juan Pablo say, teacher, we live in oh, the Oh, I didn't building. listen. Sorry. Oh, okay, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. That is why I'm repeating it because I thought that say, maybe Laura was thinking exactly about what Juan, uh, Juan Pablo was or maybe she couldn't understand what I said. But don't worry, Laura, because I'm just right here is to do that, guys. It's to keep our conversation flowing. And that made me feel that you are connected, maybe a little bit absent-minded with some of them, but that is good. Okay, don't worry. I'm not going to give you a hard time because of it. Okay, good. Guys, Let's move it on, man, because there is another. Juan Pablo mentioned speak, and I say, Juan Pablo, wow, that sounds interesting because for me, it makes sense, okay? But Juan Pablo commit a terrible mistake, and I'm going to say, Juan Pablo, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back with you in a second, but right now, actually, what I'm trying uh, to push you, make is tell me or... Oh, um, uh, with all these verbs, okay, given to us uh, here in the book, what is another possible verb that we can use in the same statement, a verb that obviously, guys, makes sense? What is the other verb that maybe makes sense in this statement, guys? Look. For me, that is perfect, <laughs> you know, because, hey, uh, maybe this happened to me, uh, and maybe not only to me, guys. I, I think this happened to all of you, okay? Even living in the uh, same neighborhood, maybe uh, many days uh, can pass uh, without you looking some of your neighbors, you know? So you say, man, we live in the same building, but believe me, uh, but we, we've never, we've never looked, but what is the preposition, uh, uh, that you need to use here because if you say look what is the preposition we live in the same building but we've never we've never what we've never what we've never looked what is the preposition hmm. all right can you see what is the preposition for look my gosh, this is a joke. At, no. Thank you. At, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Juana. Obviously, it's at. Okay, so if you say we live in the same building, but we've never, we've never looked at one another. 
Okay, guys, for me, for me, I good, I good choose Juana's option. I good choose Kevin's option when they say look. Okay, A speak is also possible. A speak makes sense. I'm not gonna say no, even could be a good option for this one, but I'm just gonna uh, put it aside. You know, I'm just gonna uh, make it be in a standby for a while and let's choose in number three, look. Okay, so I'm gonna say in past because A, we are talking about present perfect. We've never, we've never, okay, looked one another. Um, I'm gonna make a simple question, guys. We are remembering and I'm not gonna start giving you a full grammar class. Uh, because I explained this before. I'm going to need a volunteer uh, for the question that I'm going to make, and that's going to uh, give me uh, a good impression about your good memory. I don't know, guys, if you remember uh, that one time, one day in class, I explained to you very detailedly uh, the difference uh, that actually exists between the word um, one another and each other. Because those two words are words that people sometimes get confused about. For me, it's silly. It's very easy because when you are attentive in a class and, and the teacher gives you a good, good explanation about a topic, uh, so maybe doubt will be clarified, you know? So my question is, do you remember, guys, what is the difference between one another and each other? Do you remember what is the difference between them? Let's see. Maybe we are going to be lucky. Okay, I'm going to write them down here, guys. Okay, that way I'm going to give you um, like some visual reference uh, to work with. Okay, I'm going to make this board smaller and I'm going to say, do you know what is the difference between one another versus each other? Uh, so that is going to be my question right now. If maybe you think you know the answer, uh, please, you can uh, give it to us. Okay? It's just right there. I'm going to see the volunteer. What is the difference between these two words? Because actually, if you decide to use them in a spoken English, in a conversation, it's very important that you use them properly. And to use them properly is that you understand perfectly. What is the difference that exists? Each in other is in plural and one another is singular. You said two things. And I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the first one is uh, okay. The second is not okay. What is okay, um, Jeronimo? Each other is obviously for plural. All the time, because actually you can say, hey, Jeronimo, let's do something, man. It's a competition. The first person who win can I is going to lose the, uh, the competition, you know? So let's look at each other without winking an eye. And you start like this, you know? Okay. So in English, you say each other because obviously it's you and me. Okay, for example, you're gonna say uh, to your uh, to your girlfriend, oh, why don't we kiss each other? And obviously, it's plural because it's you and your girlfriend. That is perfect. Okay, good. But the other thing that you mentioned is not right. Okay, so let's say Jeronimo that you have said a peak of the truth but not completely. I'm going to need another student, another uh, in this class that uh, maybe uh, can tell us what is the difference between one another and each other. Do we have somebody else, uh, guys? Catalina, Juan Manuel Prado, let's see, Miguel, Maria Jose, Damara, okay, Sara, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, so those are the ones who haven't participated yet. The rest, they have done it, okay, so far. Okay, so my question is, do you know what is the difference? Yes or no, guys, because I need to move on. So you're thinking or you don't remember anything because that Alzheimer that you suffer from is killing you. Because, hey, teacher Alirio is <clears throat> a little bit older 
than you, but I've got a good memory. I don't remember. Uh, I don't, sorry, uh, forget things easily, okay? So especially if I am very interested in them, okay, as you are with English, aren't you? Yes or no? All right. Okay, I'm going to move on, guys. Maybe you don't remember because nobody say anything, so I do it gladly right away. Guys, the, the difference actually that exists uh, between each other and one another is this simple one. Each other, all the time, is only, 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 listen, only for two people. No more. So, hey, uh, we, uh, we need to talk to each other. I mean, you need to talk to me and I need to talk to you. And when we are going to talk to each other, we need to look at each other, you know? And something that is also important in the conversation is that we listen to each other, you know, in the conversation, okay? Uh, so that is why important each other is because involves, listen, involves two people or two possible options, okay? What is... Uh, the difference with one another. That doesn't involve only two options. So we are talking more than two. For example, let's suppose that in this class, the class that we are re uh, receiving, uh, experiencing right now, and I say, okay, guys, right now we need to have a conversation and we need to talk to one another. One another is that Jerónimo talks to Juan Pablo, okay, means that Damara talks to Maria Jose, means that Sara Alzate talks to Juana, teacher Alirio talks to uh, Juan Manuel uh, Molina, Johan Manuel. Okay, so we are having a conversation, not only two people, everybody is talking at the same time, one another, not only two people talking, okay? So, guys, remember, speak a good English is not only have a good pronunciation, that is obviously very important, is not only, okay, to know how to, to listen and, and to comprehend some tests, no, it's how to use Good English is to understand the difference that exists between words. And guys, what are we here for? To do that together. So these experiences, these uh, vocabulary, these ideas have to be shared one another, not only each other, not only Alivio with Jerónimo, Alivio with Juan Pablo, Alivio with Kevin, Alivio with Juana. No, it's everybody in the class. So one another. Remember, one another. Okay, very good. This, for example, guys, we, we've known we've known one another for such a long time. Okay, that is another example. Okay, we have known one another, I mean, all everybody in the class, for some uh, time. I mean, long time. Okay, guys, so please don't forget that. I'm just going to uh, move the board. Okay, so maybe you've got a question that you think we can clear out i'm gonna use the board immediately to do that guys i need to move on because i need to show you the presentation you're gonna love it okay uh okay very good guys so uh what about number four remember we're gonna put aside put aside uh a speak that was the option that juan pablo uh chose and we are going to use the one that Kevin and Juana mentioned, which was look. Okay, so uh, now number four. I'm going to go with number four. Guys, everybody, everybody in the class, pay attention. Number four, what do you think is the correct option uh, for number four? Okay, be careful. Yes, be careful. Not only with the scissor, be careful with the answer as well. What do you think is the right option for number four? Okay, I'm just gonna uh, wait. Go ahead, guys. Teacher, be careful with those scissors. Don't throw them to me. Don't throw them to me. Okay, excellent. Don't throw them to me. I'm gonna make a question to uh, Juan Manuel Prado, Juan Manuel. I don't know if you attend last class fully, but remember that if I'm not wrong, I explained that when you say throw, uh, there is possible two prepositions. One of them is throw at, and the other one is throw to. 
Do you remember what is the difference between throw at and throw to? Throw at, I think that is for a place. For example, if you throw a ball for to a field or out of a field, maybe. Mm. And and two is is for a person and or an object. For example, mm -hmm. a throw the ball to me. That is that is that is throw the ball to me and the, don't at me because the ball will will punch at me. <laughs> ah, it's exactly what I was expecting you to tell me, Juan Manuel. But you were not believe me, not very clear at the beginning. Right now, you justify your answer and you do it very good. What is the difference when you say throw to and throw at? You say throw at when you are angry. And I have a an stone and I throw the stone at Juan Manuel. And Juan Manuel say, oh, teacher, you threw the stone at my back. That is painful because it was an intention. Teacher, Alirio was oh, angry. But it's different when you are on the second floor, okay? And I say, Juan Manuel, please, man, can you throw the keys to me, okay, to open the door? Okay, that is actually, Juan Manuel, the difference. You did it good, but at the beginning, you were not so clear. What is the difference? At is angry. You want to hurt somebody. That is your intention. But when you say throw to, uh, the only thing is that you're going to uh, put the keys uh, on somebody's hands, okay, just doing this action, you know, because there's obviously some distance, okay, that obviously you want to avoid to cover, walk or move, okay, uh, Juan Manuel, guy, excellent as usual, man, I, 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 I like, okay, uh, the way as you give me your answer, that is perfect, very good, Juan Manuel, okay, I'm gonna move on, guys, the last one, the last one, because I need to start with my presentation, <laughs> All right. No, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, yes, no, no, I'm going to use last one, the last one, because this part of the activity is amazingly, amazingly important. So I don't want to just move so quick. Okay, so I'm going to go with the last one, which is number five. I'm going to need a different volunteer. Does teacher Alirio have another different volunteer? Hmm, that is a good question. Okay, uh, guys, is there a different volunteer in our public? Uh, tonight that maybe think you're able to give us a good answer with the coming one? Uh, if you feel or think that you are maybe that person, uh, please show yourself. Okay, uh, guys, what is number five? Let's see. Uh, be patient, Alirio, be patient. Uh, take it easy, man. Yes, Me, teacher. Oh, Juana. Juana, please go ahead. You shouldn't look directly to the sun. You will damage your eyes. Okay, listen. You say directly. Okay, so you shouldn't look. <clears throat> so, guys, let me tell you something. Houston, we've got an issue. And the issue is that maybe what we mentioned <clears throat> already in the class about Juan Pablo's answer, uh, maybe we need to <clears throat> talk, put back. I mean, we need to apologize. To Wait, me. teacher, I said to the sun? Or uh, the sun? Uh, that, that is a good question. That, that is the uh, You shouldn't look directly at the sun. Uh, perfect. Obviously, that's correct, Juana. But what I was mentioning was that maybe, maybe Juan Pablo Jaramillo was right because he say in the other statement, es but Juan Pablo Jaramillo committed a mistake, obviously. He was right and he was not right because Juan Pablo Jaramillo in number three, I'm gonna blah, 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 repeat. Juan Pablo says something like, uh, we live in the same building, but we've never speak. Okay, Juan Pablo, now you have an incredible chance, man, because life is perfect. And so many times life gives you a second chance to repair 
things that maybe you did wrong, okay? Uh, Juan Pablo, right now, if you have to repeat it again, and this time you were gonna make those uh, repairs or correction, what would be the possible or maybe, or rather the right and perfect way to say number three? Juan Pablo, go ahead. Let's see if maybe now you can do it. Um, we live in the same building but we have never speak mm -hmm. to one another. You commit exactly the same mistake. And okay. one another was no, no, one another is perfect. You, you, and the preposition is perfect. You commit another different mistake. Okay? And the, At the, one another. No, 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 no. And the mistake that you commit, let me tell you, is not like this, Juan, pa uh, Juan Pablo. It, it, it's, it's not like this. No, man, all this room is not enough to measure the incredible mistake that you have <laughs> Believe me, there's no, nothing to measure that. Okay, so we are going to need a volunteer in our class because this is a group. You know what is incredible when we have a group? That we have another participants, people. Okay, yes, Juan Manuel Prado say, but... I want. Uh, I want, yeah, Jerónimo, rush up, man, rush up, break a leg, go ahead. Uh, we live in the same building, but we've never spoken one another. Ay, no, Jerónimo, Jerónimo. Juan Pablo Jaramillo did the 50% and you don't take into account that. You just commit a mistake. You repair something and you destroy something that Juan Pablo uh, had already repaired. Okay. Uh, could you please repeat the statement again to all of us, please? Wait. No, don't worry. <laughs> Because we live in the same building, but we've never mm -hmm. spoken mm -hmm. to oh. one another. Okay, because if you don't mention the preposition, your English is not good. Okay, so that is why I'm going to be here, washing at you all the time. All right, so that is perfect. Okay, exactly what uh, that, that happened with Juana when you say, teacher, uh, you shouldn't look directly at, you say, Juana, perfect. Okay, because you need the preposition. Okay, so you shouldn't uh, look directly at the sign. You will damage. Look at the pronunciation. Damage. Okay, your eyes. Okay, that is something very important. What is something else that can damage your eyes, uh, Jerónimo? Uh, not only talking about the sun, but nowadays, what is something that we use every single day at every moment that possibly can damage our eyes? Girls. <laughs> oh my gosh okay i need somebody else more serious because you know what is the problem with her anymore i'm gonna move on with kevin kevin no 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 kevin i'm gonna go on with uh maria jose maria jose what is something else that can damage our eyes now a day that we use every single day what is something that can damage our eyes that is not only the sun what is that If maybe somebody else can answer me that question. It's obviously cell phone. Cell phones, man. Cell phones all the time. Those little letters, tiny letters. You think, yes, I can read them very well. Yes, and you can do it. But with sometimes you're going to uh, feel or experience that, hey, your eyes can see as incredibly well as before. And that is why, because of the usage of these kind of devices nowadays, even to be in front of a computer the whole day, guys, doing homework, studying exactly like you, if you don't protect your eyes with good, good, uh, you know, uh, glasses, I mean, um, uh, that protect you against of these kind of things, okay, with time, you're going to experience some problem in your eyes. Okay, or you're gonna have some problem with your eyes. So that is why it's important sometimes not to have so much bright, the brightness of the screen. Sometimes it's too much. Hey, just reduce it. It's not necessary that the computer is gonna light up the whole uh, bedroom. No, the only thing that you need is to see what is on the screen, but too much brightness, hey, that is something else that is gonna, you know, fucked up. <clears throat> 
I never said that, guys. Please just forget it. But it's going <clears> to <throat> damage. In English, damage is the nice word. Hey, if you don't use my car properly, you're going to damage it. Or you're going <clears> to, <throat> you know, what teacher Alirio just mentioned. Don't repeat it, uh, Geronimo. Don't repeat it, anybody else. You already know it. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay, go ahead. Okay, guys, I'm going to move on. How do you say agua de panela in English? <laughs> Man, you're not going to tell me cane water, okay? Because agua de panela is agua de panela here and agua de panela in every place all around the world. Don't ask me how to say chorizo in English. Don't ask me how to say empanada in English. Big. Because they are proper nouns. And you know what is the problem with proper nouns? That proper nouns are pronounced and said exactly in the same way as they are said in the original place, okay? And that is going to happen everybody, uh, everywhere else, you know? So please, if you're going to try to say empanada in English, you're going to be a genius. Please, when you do that, share it to me. All right, let's go on, okay? So in English, let's um, uh, use, okay? <clears throat> All right, please don't read the chat. Head on please okay number uh next part of the statement uh to finish very quickly guys is uh you're gonna choose to or a to or a to or a that is everything you're gonna do okay guys um before the class are finished because that is gonna happen in we are half of the class but today your participation has been amazingly okay uh amazing so that is why i tell you guys that is exactly what we need if we are gonna pretend to be advanced students this is exactly the class uh that we are gonna have every time and that is why is actively participation all the time if uh, you understand amazing guys you don't understand how amazing is that you can understand english so quick and you can participate okay believe me when you travel when you leave this country guys this english is gonna be something that is gonna be very helpful to all of you and you're gonna remember every single of these words okay uh, because i remember when my teacher taught me that long time ago okay every of those words were a hundred percent real and truth okay guys let's move on so right now we are gonna shorten listen the word and i would like to read it anyhow i don't like to talk about vocabulary because at this point of time you have collected all the vocabulary that we have been uh, studying together in the last two three years okay but anyhow guys please don't forget okay it's shortened okay that is right short for example when something is too 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 long okay sometimes necessarily gotta be short okay uh, i'm not gonna ask for uh, some you know examples and please i'm not gonna imagine to ask Jeronimo about what is something that maybe is necessary uh, to be shortened because okay Jeronimo, please don't speak okay shorten is for example like that what is shorten for example when somebody uh is gonna have a, a a limb amputated okay so that is gonna be short and i mean it's not gonna be as long as before okay doctors need to shorten uh the leg okay so in english cut sometimes sounds too rough cut off uh, sometimes even the word amputate sounds like well you know but sometimes shorten okay it's gonna be uh, not only a good synonym but it's gonna like represent exactly the same idea okay bear that in mind guys excellent so i'm gonna need different volunteers i'm gonna ask for example damara damara what do you think about number two if you have to use now that we have shortened um the option we are gonna only use twice okay twice no um both two are at but we are going to choose only one okay to complete the idea uh, what do you think damara is a good one for number two and if you please can read us the full statement that is going to be much better uh damara go ahead ah juan pablo you want to listen to damara participated all right good okay listen to her in a second damara are you over there? Are you on? Just let's wait. Damara is coming. She's coming from the bathroom. <laughs> Damara, are you around? Okay, look, I'm going to ask somebody else. I'm going to ask somebody else. Sara, Sara, Alzate, Sara. Uh, are you connected? Are you on? How are you? 
How are you, Sarah? Are you around? You're gonna ask, why they don't answer? I have exactly the same question. Are they busy? Because they are supposed to be in the English class, aren't they? Hmm. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna ask somebody else. Miguel, 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 how are you, buddy? How's everything going? Good? Miguel, are you around, buddy? Let's wait in the meantime because um, Damara is connected, but she's maybe busy. Okay, Sara, Sara, you, you, you don't answer me. Okay, so I imagine Sara is eating. <laughs> you know, maybe right now she's she's got uh, her mouth full. You know, uh, and uh, Miguel, Miguel, are are you there, buddy? Yes, teacher. Yes. Excellent. Uh, Miguel, what do you think about uh, the statement number two? Complete it. If you have to complete the statement number two, what is uh, the possible uh, one for you? Remember glance. That is a perfect myth. Let's see. Uh, oh, oh, I glance. I glance to my watch to see what time it was. Okay, guys, I'm gonna make a question. Uh, everybody is in agreement with uh, Miguel. Everybody say yes, that's No, teacher. No, Juana say teacher. I've got my doves and Monica. Uh, Monica say no. Okay, excellent. Juana, uh, uh, which one is for you? At. At, and all the time is at. Remember that last class we say, hey, have a look at. You know, you can say, hey, look at look at the newspaper. But not all the time is necessary to say look at the newspaper. No, no, it's not necessary all the time. You can say have a look at the newspaper. That is like a little bit more informal. Exactly the same as I mean. Um, uh, glance at the newspaper. Or I can say give a glance at. I mean, if you if you want, I'm not reading the magazine anymore. I am not reading the magazine anymore. So if you want, you can give it a glance at it. You can give a glance at it. You can give a glance at it. Okay, so in English, it's two different ways, the short and the long way. Which one sometimes is better? The one that you listen the most. If you listen, uh, the more, okay, this one, that is the perfect one, okay? Very good. What is my advice for you? So many times, have a look and give a glance are more common, especially in informal English, but the other ones, obviously, they are completely right. Juana, and you are completely right, Juana. That is completely true. What you just mentioned is exactly like it is, okay? Very good. I'm gonna move to the next one, okay? And uh with this one i'm gonna finish okay these the rest are the one that obviously you have done or you will uh be doing okay uh at any moment i mean we already got okay uploaded our issue our homework our assignment our task okay on our aside in google classroom so if you are a rolly guy and you know what exactly you gotta do uh, because you don't need nobody else to come and tell you what to do because you know that. Okay, so you're going to go and start doing that copy that teacher Aliri already uploaded, okay, for all of you guys. I'm interested in your uh, English improving. My question is, how interested are you? Are you as interested as teacher Aliri? Hmm. Good question. And you know what is worse? Nobody nobody replied to me everybody is quiet <laughs> when this is a oh, teacher please oh, no i am very committed uh I, I didn't do the homework but i promise i will when the class is over okay that is gonna sound good to me that is gonna sound that is gonna ring bells to me See, ding! wow <laughs> okay they are getting the idea okay so let's wait this to be exactly like that, guys, you know? Okay, just move it on, okay, guys? And next one, next one is um, number four. I'm gonna need a volunteer for number four. Who's that volunteer, guys? 
Uh, oh, yeah, maybe, Monica, Monica, welcome to the class. Monica, if you are there, yes. tell us, uh, what option do you think is the right one for number four? Number four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I saw Lisa and shoot it. <laughs> yeah. I saw Lisa and shoot to her, to but her. she didn't hear me. Yes. Two. Okay, that's right. But she didn't hear me, Monica. I'm gonna make a question because yes, that's right. Uh -huh. What you just said is correct. I saw Lisa and I shouted. Remember the pronunciation? I shouted. Shouted to her. To her. To her. Yeah. Monica, when uh, people say shout it at, is possible to say uh, shout it at? Yes. In what kind of situations? Uh, depends on the doer or depends on the person who is doing the action. Mm, yeah. It's a little bit of <laughs> You know, I'm not so sure about what you're mentioning, but there is a clear difference between if you say shout, shout at, and shout to. Two different situations. Okay, two is when people are very far. I mean, uh, uh -huh. we deal with distance, and for us, it's necessary to have like a communication with people. For example, in number three, I was thinking about, please don't shoot at me. Ah, okay. That because they are perfect. really close. No, and in English number three, that is perfect. You say at, because mm -hmm. at is when involves a state of mood, a state of mind, you are angry. You know, how okay. is possible? You Shut forget. Shut okay, this is important for me. Say, hey, 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 give me a second. Don't shout at me. Okay, don't be angry. It's not necessary. Don't worry. But in English too is when we deal with distance. Okay, so uh, Monica, go okay. with your option and remember when you're angry. Okay, uh -huh. and you increase the volume of your voice in front of people because you uh -huh. want to express your anger. Okay, remember that the preposition is at. Okay, very okay. good. Thank Excellent. You. Okay, guys, I'm going to go on. I'm going to close this, guys. It's going to be over. Let's say bye-bye because I would like to move. Remember, we are going to uh, study six different episodes about verbs plus preposition. I mean prepositional verbs. And the intention that I've got with all of these guys is to give you that level of proficiency that you're going to need, okay, to deal with the full and whole uh, topic with that, that is coming up. And what is that one, teacher? Obviously, it's phrasal verbs. But I'm not going to start talking to you what is a phrasal verb if you are not a home. 100% uh, percent ready, I mean, uh, uh, to understand the topic and how that is going to happen. Obviously, if you digest, mm, 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 you digest all this information about verse plus preposition. We are going to go step by step. We already did our first class, okay? We already participate. Uh, you already got a homework on Google Classroom that you're supposed to have done by now. If you haven't, please do it as soon as possible. And now with this practice, okay, I can see that as far, uh, up to now, you have understood, okay, at least the level that I want, okay? Obviously, perfection is something that you're going to uh, master or is going to be mastered. It depend on you. It's up to you how much more actually you want to uh, get, okay? The whole things are just right there for you. You just need to go and take them. Okay, very good, guys. I'm going to just um, I close this because teacher's presentation is coming. Okay, and I prepared a very good one for all of you guys because every day I'm very motivated here. Okay, thinking, what can you do, a little? And believe me, guys, I know what I do. Okay, all the time. And look at this, guys. We are going to move on. And the intention that we have now is, guys, go on talking about a verse plot preposition to you okay so those ones okay good excellent you already participate guys that doesn't mean that we are not gonna talk about them anymore no no no. we are gonna keep from now on repeating talking i'm gonna keep giving you oral examples even when you don't know you need teacher alivio is using the topic oh, like this me stuff all the time because we are connected with prepositional verbs and i love them believe me guys this is the kind of english i don't know if i have that i mentioned that before that 
that I actually love because it's advanced, man. It's not verb to be. I am, you are. Yes, that is not the word thing, but guys, uh, okay, beginners, you know, freshmen, okay, good. Okay, but this point of level, we are <coughs> seniors. You know, we are real, real seniors, okay, in English. All right, so let's um, say welcome to our uh, new uh, class um, now, okay? Maybe we are going to now finish uh, this presentation fully uh, tonight, but uh, surely we will uh, next class, okay? So uh, don't worry, guys. Information will be provided, given, and shared to all of you. Okay, soon, if maybe we couldn't finish. Okay, so let's get uh, on. Okay, what is the idea right away? Uh, we are going to study um, some verbs related with the preposition about. So what are some verbs that could be related to that? Can you uh, mention one, guys? Can you mention a verb that maybe is related with the preposition about? We have talked about some of them yet. Or already. Do you remember one? Anybody? Any any of you? About? So, hey, talk to me about your problem. Uh, that is very easy. Okay, uh, do you remember any other one? I'm going to wait 10 seconds. It's desperating. Three. Oh, my gosh. I can't help. I can't help. No? All Teacher. Right. Tell me. We can use read, read about. Re obviously. Okay, obviously. Uh, what do you like? Uh, that is a very good question uh, for you. What do you like to read about in your free time? What do you like to read about in your free time? About fairy tales? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the right one. And teacher, I like to read about fairy tales in my free time. That is perfect. Juana, wow, you are very accurate. I love this word. I'm going to read it uh, right here. It's accurate. Your answers are very accurate, okay, every time. Okay, excellent, and congratulations uh, for it. Okay, very good. So about, guys, yes, hey, I would like to read about what you are mentioning. Ma Juana, teacher, what, fairy tales? You are telling me that you read about fairy tales in your free time. I would like uh, you to talk to me about one of your favorite fairy tales. What is something uh, or what is the one that is favorite for you? Ah, okay, teacher, I'm going to talk to you about Cinderella. Or I'm going to talk to you about Red Riding Hood. Or I'm going to talk to you and you're going to mention the one. Excellent. Right now, I'm going to list, guys, look on the screen, uh, some of the ones that maybe are closely related to the preposition about. What is one? Talk. So talk to me about your problem. Pay attention to this. This is maybe an image that is going to give us like an example. And look at this. We talk about a lot of things at the meeting. We talk about say, Juana's uh, ideas at the meeting, you know. Or we talk about you raising. Yeah, we are thinking about uh, a good increase of your salary oh that sounds good okay i'm gonna be open wide open ears okay to listen that okay very good in colombia when we talk about the basic salary okay that is not gonna give us okay uh you know a good a hunch never is not gonna give us a hunch never okay next one talk about i came back yeah very good yeah i can see welcome back okay next one is read the one that i just um um, Juana mentioned, you say, hey, what do you like to read about in your free time? Okay, or for example, um, uh, uh, do you know, uh, uh, um, do you know about computers, guys? Do you know about computers? No. Nobody say anything. Second question, do you know about video games? Yes. Uh, uh, all right. Can you see? Do you know? Do you know uh, a lot about video games, uh, Jeronimo? Um, maybe. Uh, what is that favorite uh, game in which I imagine you're a master 
uh, that you know so much about? Um, code, Watson. You are you are good at that. Yes. All right. When you say good, is because actually you are good. Yes. All right. That's right. Because some people say, yeah, I'm good, but that is their personal uh, concept about the situation. But when they compete online with other competitors, <laughs> they never win. So I, I think, actually, are they as good as they think they are? <laughs> I don't know. All right. Excellent. Very good. I'm going to show you another, guys. Okay. We are exactly with the same preposition and what is the preposition about all right for example what is another verb is for example have a discussion okay you can say obviously discuss but we are going to talk in a minute about it okay you say have a discussion for example i don't know why uh, but they were having a discussion this morning when i opened the door who my parents you know that's right uh, or, for example, uh, Margarita and Robert, okay? They are girlfriend and boyfriend. And this morning at university, uh, around the cafeteria, they were having a discussion about something that I couldn't hear very well. <laughs> All right, gossiper. All right, very good. So let's see another um, example for this one. I say, we had a discussion about what we should do. I imagine if you pay attention, it's because they want to improve a product. They are working in in something special and maybe uh, they are thinking about what could be a good possible good step the coming one that they are deciding to take okay so we had a discussion about what we should do is a good one okay so have a discussion about i'm going to show you another and right here i would like you to pay attention guys because sometimes you know okay you think uh, we don't have second options uh, or different choices that we can use to say something. And this is a good one, okay? I say discuss something, and it's not necessarily the preposition. Not all the time is necessary the preposition. The preposition is going to be a set or mention when we describe the issue. If the issue is not going to be described or said, obviously you're not going to ever need the preposition. The preposition is necessary when you're going to mention what. Okay, for example, talking about this, that is, okay, in this red band, that is going to be like highlighted to emphasize or to draw your attention more, is because look at the example. We discuss what we should do. It's not necessary all the time to say about for this one. Okay, exceptions are just over there. Okay, um, what is another verb, teacher, that can be uh, used with the preposition about? Obviously, it's do. Yeah, what you got to do? I got to do a homework. Okay, so do the homework. But I have a problem. Uh, what is your problem about? My problem is I don't understand how to do the homework. You say, you don't know how to do the homework? No, I don't know how to do the homework. You don't know how to do the homework and you were in classes all this morning. Hey, mom, 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 take it easy. Okay, so listen to me. Do something about the problem because you need to present the homework. And I don't want the teacher call me tomorrow to tell me that you didn't do it. Okay, say, hey, mom, take it easy. Why I can't share my problems with you and all the time you start raising the hell to me. Okay, take it easy. Hey, don't worry. I'm going to do something about my problem. And what is my problem? My lack of understanding about the homework. I'm going to call I'm going to call the most intelligent student in the classroom. I'm going to call I'm going to call I'm going to call Catalina Quintero. Okay, yes. I have Catalina's number. Where is my cell phone? Mom? Okay, don't worry. I'm going to bring your cell phone and please call Catalina as soon as you can. Ask her. Okay, Simon, don't worry. I'm gonna ask her, I'm gonna ask her about uh, the lesson. Don't worry. And I'll do my homework and I'm gonna do something about this problem, mom, because you have the most responsible son ever. You know, I'm not like my brother. You know, all right. I'm gonna move on. So do something. If you have a problem and it's a problem that is hard for you to be solved out, so look for somebody else. Maybe that is a way to do something about the problem. It's a start 
getting solutions. Don't be just right there crying over the spilled milk. Okay, get solutions, man. Okay, that is to be smart. If a door close to you, okay, try to take out the other key that you got and start opening the other ones, okay? Because there's not only a single word in life, not in knowledge, not in many things okay, in life. Okay, guys, good. Okay, move on. Okay, that's right. For example, you have a problem with a pipe in your house. You have a problem with a pipe in your house. What you gotta do? What you gotta do uh, about this problem? Who are you gonna call if you have a problem with one of the pipes at your house? Give me the solution, please. What can I do about my problem? I have a pipe that is leaking at home. What do I have to do about? Nobody. <laughs> this is the advanced or is the basic class? Ah, uh, uh, no, I'm connected with the advanced, so sorry. Uh, yes, pipe, uh, Monica asked me, pipes, pipes actually is where the water flows all over your house. That is called pipes. What you open is called faucet. I'm going to write it down, guys. Faucet or sometimes called tap. Okay, so Federico, what mom? You were washing your hands? Yes, mom, I was washing your my hands because I'm gonna eat. Yeah, but remember, I don't know why all the time I gotta repeat, repeat, and repeat the same to you. If you use the water and you wash your hands, close the tap because it's leaking. Close well the tap because water is expensive. Your father is not rich. You know, protect the planet. Be a greener. <laughs> you know, they, they are not thinking about to to become you. Yeah, thank you, Monica. Monica, uh, what what is something that I have to do about if I have a problem with the pipe or with the pipe of my house? Obviously, Monica is right. I need to call a plumber. Okay, that's right. Yeah, a plumber. Excellent, plumber, the plumber. Sometimes. American people don't say, say, hey, plumber, call a plumber, man. plumber, American, plumber, don't be crazy, he's American, you know how to pronounce words perfectly, or at least he's native, okay, so give him some ear to him, all right, good, excellent, guys, I'm gonna I'm move it on, okay, next one, we are gonna move on exactly on the same direction, we are talking about verse related with the preposition for. All right, so for example, is Acts 4, okay, Acts 4. For example, I'm going to make the question, the question to uh, Juan Esteban. Juan Esteban, are you back? Are you back, Juan Esteban? Juan Esteban, are you around? Okay, no? Hey, participation is very important. Next one, uh, Maria Jose, are you around? Are you around, Maria Jose? Yes? No? Still in the bathroom? Yeah? All right, next one, I'm gonna go on with uh, uh, Juan Pablo Jaramillo. Juan Pablo, I imagine you're around. I, yes. Uh, I'm gonna, um, in context, use a uh, this prepositional verb, guys, because it's a speaking or by a speaking that you learn how to use them perfectly. Okay. Mm. If you don't have money to go to a party, who do you ask for it? That. <laughs> okay. Jerónimo, you say that. What about you, uh, Juan Pablo? If you want to go to a party and you don't have any money, who do you ask uh, that for? Mm, my girlfriend. <laughs> I think. Oh, what the fuck? No, 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 guys. That is perfect. What is the problem that your girl contribute to make her boyfriend a better guy? Okay. Oh, what is the problem that the girlfriend wants 
to see uh, her boyfriend happier. Ay, what, what, what is going to make you feel happy this Saturday, Juan Pablo? And Juan Pablo is intelligent. Juan Pablo is saying, no, you know, it's, there is an incredible, incredible party that my best friends are going to celebrate. Is something related, you know, to my birthday. But it's only men. It's only a men party. You know, so that is why I never mentioned it to you. And anyhow, I was not going to go because I don't have money. You know, and immediately she's going to jump to the gang. She jumped the gang. You know, she jumped to action and say, no, honey, what is the problem? And how much is that? No, it's something. It's nothing. It's like a hundred thousand pieces. It's, what? Yes, that is why I never mentioned this to you. Don't worry. It's not your business. You know, and obviously she loves you too much, you know, so she's going to break the piggy bank, <laughs> you know, and she's going to uh, fix your problem. Okay, uh, Juan Pablo, man, believe me, that is uh, the next step in evolution. I'm talking about relationships. So when you have a problem, <laughs> Juan Pablo, uh, all the time you ask your girlfriend for money and for everything that you need. Hey, man, that is incredible. It's when love becomes in a business. Okay, good. Juan Pablo, you are an entrepreneur. You're a businessman. I, I like people with your attitude. Excellent one. Okay, very good. So let's see, guys. Next one. The idea is, look, ask for. Okay? So, for example, if you uh, are taking a special plan for your mobile or cell phone, Okay, as you know, guys, we have for we experience many problems with our services, and so many times it's because they uh, don't give us a, um, a good treat, you know, they don't uh, cover or fulfill our expectations about the service. And uh, we need, or oh, at the end, we are writing emails, okay, to ask them for more information. Why I gotta pay more? Why my bill says that I gotta pay double of what actually we agree? Okay, so maybe uh, they answer to you, and most of the cases, the answers are not so good. You know, that is the problem with with providers and uh, and the people who receive, okay, sometimes services. Sometimes people who got the service. Uh, they don't they don't have enough protections okay they uh, that, that is cruel you know but sometimes that happens you know what i'm talking about so if you have a problem okay or you don't understand what the teacher mentions or ask okay uh, to the teacher for that okay remember we can use double preposition why don't you ask for your doubt okay to the teacher Okay, so how oh, really I'm gonna ask for it to the teacher, you know, excellent. So guys, I'm gonna show you the next one and it's very, very special. And this part I would like you to focus on uh, very well because hey, when we say ask somebody, it's not necessarily the preposition for, okay? For example, if you have like a new gadget, you know, it's like a smartwatch, it's new, you haven't ever had one before, you don't know how to use it. Okay, you say, why don't you ask your brother who's got one of those, uh, those ones, okay, uh, to explain to you how to use it. And you say, why don't you ask your brother uh, the way to use the smartwatch? Say, okay, I will do that, okay? So many times uh, uh, when you are rushing up because you have an appointment with the doctor, you don't have a watch, okay, a, a, a wristwatch, okay, around your, you know, and you need to ask somebody at the time, excuse me, excuse me, wow, I need to ask somebody the time, uh, excuse me, uh, what is the time? Oh, really? Three o'clock? My appointment was at you, typical in Colombia. All right, go ahead, guys. So if you pay attention, uh, there is another um, example uh, for this. I ask, for example, when you don't know which way to take around your loss, your new, you know, maybe you are a tourist, okay, in a place, in a country that you actually don't know at all, you know, and maybe you're going to have like a map. No, it is very easy because well, cell phones and, and, you know, and maps, you're going to get everywhere, okay, without knowing the place previously, okay, that is something good about technology, okay, they can help us, 
okay, with things that before were almost impossible, or things that we could only account on people, you know, nowadays technology is giving that kind of support, you know, that we actually need, okay, and this is something good, I love Google Maps, okay, because actually, guys, I have used it not only in Colombia, but abroad as well, and it, it worked pretty good, okay, I, I don't have complaints about the service, okay, I mean Google Maps. Okay, so I ask somebody the way to the station. If you don't know the way to somewhere that you are ahead enough, okay, so I start asking to people around. Excuse me, do you know how I can get this place? Excuse me, do you know what is the train that is going to take me here? Okay, and maybe uh, people is going to start giving you a hand. Okay, guys, I'm going to stop my class just right here, okay, and remember... Uh, that I'm not going to give you a hard time about a prepositional verse part two, no yet, okay? But obviously, next class, I'm going to finish with the presentation and we are going to just have a conversation using prepositional verse. And the idea is uh, when you finish, um, you need to uh, do the homework. What is a homework? It's a copy that you're going to feel you know, in, that's it, okay? And that is gonna give me some idea about how to measure your understanding about the topic. Guys, I'm gonna say bye-bye, take care, okay? Take I'm care. gonna tell me, buddy. Remember, remember about the problem that I have with my schedule. Uh, all and right. That... And, that is, and that is something that I would like to talk to you about as well, because I have experienced some problems lately. Right now, and I'm gonna start with classes maybe at university uh, these days, and uh, we usually have our classes on um, a Saturday. Okay, so what is the idea? I can give you classes on Saturday uh, too because I need to teach you more time. That is better for you. So what are we gonna do? From next week on, we are gonna work this way. We are gonna be on Wednesdays, normally, okay? Six o'clock, Wednesdays, six o'clock. And our second class is gonna be usually as before. It's gonna be on Saturdays, exactly at uh, 10, 10, 30, okay? So we are gonna work 10, 30 uh, till noon. I mean 12, one hour. Maybe, teacher, maybe I can. Now why, that's why? because of breakfast. Now, uh, really, you are doing your breakfast um, in the morning on Saturday? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, guys, um, I'm asking this because it's important. Anyhow, as you know, the class is gonna be totally recorded. But my question is, does anybody else have a problem with this new possible schedule? No problem if we move the class, which is on Monday, and we move it on a Saturday at 10.30. Only Jeronimo maybe has got this problem. Nobody else? Really? No. All right, guys. Okay, so uh, teacher Monica say me. All right. Very good. Uh, somebody else? Because, hey, this is going to give me an idea about, you know, I'm going to make you a question, guys, and, uh, and please let me uh, ask you this. Uh, what about earlier? I mean earlier, but weekdays. I imagine, for example, if I tell you why don't we meet at, uh, for example, 4 o'clock. Uh, for example, if we give classes, because I, I'm going to be giving classes at night, Okay, but for me, it's important two classes a week, guys. This level is two classes a week plus the homework that we're going to have on Google Classroom. Okay? Teacher, I just can um, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. All right. So, in the meantime, we find a solution because I can move it if we don't have problem. Okay, so the idea is uh, we're going to still going on exactly like that, okay, because I need you, everybody in the class. Okay, so uh, for example, um, Jeronimo, I'm going to ask you this. What about our classes on Wednesdays? If, what about if the class is at 4 o'clock? Can you receive, can you get the class at 4 o'clock? Mm, yes. 
uh, and that means that everybody else have exactly the same um, uh, idea. I mean, everybody can get the class earlier uh, and not to give the class on Saturday, but give the class on weekdays, but a little bit earlier than usual, at least one class. Uh, Juan Manuel, let me ask you something. Uh, to give the class at four o'clock, that works for you? Yes, teacher. All right, so maybe that can be a solution that we can uh, uh, have, you know? Uh, so guys, uh, listen to me. So next Monday, we are gonna normally have the class at six. But on Monday, we are gonna talk about the class on Wednesday that is gonna be earlier, okay? Uh, but we are gonna study that, okay? So I'm gonna see you next class, guys. I love you. See you next class. Don't go without saying bye-bye. That is not to have good manner, guys. I love you. Bye-bye. Take care. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye, bye. teacher. Thank you. Bye -bye, class teacher. Today. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with all of you. Bye, horny men. Yeah, excellent. Very good for you. Bye, teacher. Take care, guys. Excellent. Very good. Bye. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.